everyone, this is Peggy with Sweet Tea Makery and welcome back to my channel. So today is Bow Sunday and we're going to make a deco mesh bow. I haven't made one of these in quite a while and I thought I'd just kind of go back to my roots. Um, when I first started to use some deco mesh, I experimented with um, making deco mesh bows and um, you can make them plain, you can make them uh, uh, accent bows that have some texture to them, uh, like florals and, and other things that you might, in ribbon. So uh, today we'll try making just a plain deco mesh bow. Now I'm gonna use a, um, this is actually a six inch, but you can use five inch uh, deco mesh, but I've also made larger bows by using the 10 inch deco mesh but I prefer to use a five or six inch. It just gives to me the, just the right amount of deco mesh. And I'm gonna use the Easy Bow Maker to make this bow. And we're gonna flip this around and I'm gonna tilt you down and show you some of the things that you are going to, to need. Okay, so you can either leave this on here or um, or not, but we may take it off. Just depends um, on uh, how it works out. So the first thing I want to do is make my tails. So I'm going to actually measure out. Let's see, we've got 24 inches. Now, if you make them longer, you can always trim them off. Let's see how long of a tail that'll make. That's kind of cute. Let's try doing a 24 inch tail. So I measured it out and all I'm gonna do is take this and go down the Easy Bow Maker just like that. And we'll just pull some more and we'll pull this out and just get a rough estimate of the length. And you could do pre-measure beforehand, but they don't have to be exact. And I'm just going to trim it with scissors. Of course, you can use your rotary cutter, but since it's such a smaller amount. Um, so now I've got my tail. And this is just a single tail. You can do double tails, which we may do. Um, I think it kind of gives it a fuller look. So I think instead of doing 24 inch, I think what we'll do is do a little bit shorter. Maybe go down to, let's see how much that one does. Yeah, let's go to 20 inches. So, and it will stick to each other as you work on it. So don't, you know, just be aware. And we'll pull some more out. And we're just going to guesstimate that that, that is 20 inches as well. Again, you can trim this off. And now we have our tails started. So when I make a bow, it depends on um, where I'm going to use that. So I always like to scale my bows to the uh, project that I'm going to um, use it for. So generally for mailboxes, I'll go anywhere from a, a, a seven inch loop, you know, maybe down to a, to a six. Um, and then you can also go down to a five. It just depends on, on what you, um, what you want to scale it to. And so your wreath sizes, like a 12 inch, um, pine wreath, um, I would scale it down to a five inch loop, um, just so that it's proportional to your, to your wreath. And again, you can add these to, um, you know, a wreath, you can add, add it to a mailbox, you can just use it, you know, to a garden flag. So what we're going to do is take about an inch and a half, okay, right here. So here's my, you know, it could be two inches or inch and a half, we'll pull it back some. And we're going to just push that down. And again, we're just going to roll this out. I'm going to measure out and I might have to take this off for now let's see maybe take it off and drop it down it's been a while y'all 
Okay, yeah, that's much better. So that's out to the seven, which I think, let's see. I might go eight, because I kind of like that loop. Let's do, hmm, let's do seven. Okay, so I've measured out here to seven. I'm going to gather up my deco mesh and I'm going to pull this. I'm keeping my finger right here and I'm just going to pull this down between it. Let's see how that looks. I'll see how we're forming a loop. And that just depends. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, so we'll go with seven. And all we're going to do is go from side to side. We're going to measure out to seven. I'm going to keep my thumb there. I'm going to pinch this here. And I'm usually, what I do is use, see how it comes off the roll and it's curled under. I go with the natural flow of the uh, deco mesh. And we're just going to pinch it and push it down. And we're going to go, yep, pinch it down. And we're, we'll fluff this out once it's done. So yeah, so once it's stretched out, it's to seven. But when it comes back up, it'll it'll lose about an inch just because we stretched it out. So again, we're gonna go to that seven. And you can twist it if you want. You don't have to twist it. But if you want to, you can, just like you do ribbon. And again, we're gonna measure out, let's see, to seven. About seven here. We're going to take and curl it. And again, you really want to be sure that you can get a hold of that that um, deco mesh and let it. I'm holding it at the seven inch mark on my easy bow maker. Y'all, this is the most simplest little bow to make. And again, we're just going back and forth. And I'm using now going to use my um, actual loop to kind of keep up with the size. If you're not too sure, you can pull them up just like you would regular, a regular bow. They don't have to be perfect, perfect, but as close as you can get it. Okay, so now we're gonna push down. And again, we're just making the loops here and we'll fluff it out as we go. I mean, as at the end. And so I'm going to twist it you don't like I say play around with it if you feel like twisting makes it a better way if you if it's not then then don't twist it because you can always manipulate it so that the curl is under so right now we've got three loops and again I'm just going to measure out here pull that down so that's a three loop bow and you could stop there but I think, which kind of looks pretty too, I think I might go ahead and let's try see what five looks like. I like to work in odd numbers. So again, y'all, I haven't made one of these in a long time. But I really like them. I think they're just, you know, especially when you can get the metallic, um, <clears throat> metallic one. Uh, or metallic deco mesh or, you know, one that has a design in it. You know, this one is sort of plain, kind of a solid, but does have some metallic to it. We're on our fourth loop. And again, we're kind of measuring out. Now, you can also graduate down to give it a little bit of depth, which is kind of what I just did. I, instead of doing a seven, I went down to a six. That was on that fourth loop. And um, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You got to keep up with that. So we're going to work on our last one. And let's do that at six as well. And again, and again, it'll stick to each other, but it's not really that bad. Okay, so now I'm going to use the six since I did it on the other one. And we're just grabbing it and coming down. I like them because they're kind of poofy, and I think they just look 
you know, kind of gives a little sparkle to your door. It's not something you see every day. That's about six. Okay. So then what we'll do, so we've got five loops on either one. It looks like a hot mess right now. Um, but we're going to again cut off right now. Let's cut off about two inches. Just like that. And I'm pushing that down as tight as I can get it. Now you can use floral wire, um, just like that, a floral wire, or you can use zip ties. Lately, I've been on a zip tie kick or cable tie kick. Um, I'm going to use a clear, and just like when you're making your regular bows, you come up underneath there. I'm going to go up in between the tails. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it, making sure I'm capturing all of that. Looks like I might have not quite got it. Let's lift it up just slightly. Just making sure we're coming fully underneath there. I'm going to go in between the tails. So when I say I'm going in between the tails, and we're going to get that zip tie started. That's the first thing we're going to do. Just like when you're making ribbon bows and I'm just going to get it started so I can lift it out without it coming loose. Now my easy bow, this one is a fairly new one. I actually broke one of my ones on the other one, on my older one, so I just got me a new one. So we're going to put our easy bow aside for now and we're going to take a look at this. So what I like to do, and again, you can see we've got some tails here, some streamers, if you want to call them that. Just like you have a bow, you have a place where you indented it with your Easy Bow Maker. And we just want to kind of keep that in place. And I'm just going to tighten it just a little bit more, not fully. So I like to make sure that the head, and when I'm talking about the head, so this is the little fat part, I like to make sure that it's pointing kind of downward and not to the very far back so that it doesn't scratch uh, my door or whatever I'm working on. So you can take a pipe cleaner or if you have some of this tinsel rope, I happen to have some. I'm going to use green um, because I'm actually kind of doing a sunflower theme. So I think the green will be fine. So I'm going to just insert this up underneath that zip tie there we go and I cut this at about I think I cut it at 24 inches from what I remember yeah I did okay okay and again we're going to have where that fat head is right here we're going to just pull it and I still haven't tightened it as much as I can because I still want to be able to um, fluff up my bow and again we're just pulling it just like you would a regular bow you can start from the bottom and kind of twist it fluff it out making sure our tails are out and you just go I, I usually go from side to side remember we have five loops so we're just wanting to Manipulated. I'm not, I'm tugging pretty good, but not super hard. And remember, we made a little bit smaller loop just to give it a little bit of depth. And it, you can still adjust it if you need to a little bit. So we've got one, two, three, four. And here's actually this one is underneath. So we'll pull this one. And we'll shift it. You can twist these just like you do a regular ribbon bow and just manipulate them. Now I'm just holding it in my hand doing this but you can use two hands. You can let go of it. As you see it's starting to kind of fluff. See how it's starting to fluff up? This is the side that I fluffed and this is the side that's just natural. And again, we've got our tails, and we'll just keep them pulled. So 
So now I'm going to work on the other side. We'll trim this off in just a moment. Just making sure that I've got my tails <coughs> pointing down. Okay, again, it's, you know, I can shift it just a little bit. Let's pull this and hold this together. I'm going to pull that down. And again, we're just twisting it. You know, kind of like what they say, breaking the bow. Well, you can do that with the deco mesh too. And you're gonna start from the bottom. So I kind of started in between. Generally, you wanna start from the bottom, but I sometimes grab the wrong one or I just don't care. I can work on it and adjust it to any way that I desire, so. But general rule of thumb, you wanna go from the bottom. So I'm gonna put one in the middle, so I'm doing one here, one here, one in the middle, and then you wanna just work on that. And again, I haven't super tightened it so that I can pull and adjust it. And then again, we can pull this back and trim it off a little bit more if it gets in the way. Okay, so now you see that I have a pretty bow and you can do a lot of things with this. You can leave it as is and add it to a wreath. Um, you can, uh, you know, use a little embellishment here. You know, you can use a smaller, um, smaller one. Um, we can use a much larger sunflower in there but for now we're just going to leave it plain so that you can see how that works okay now we're going to fully engage our um, zip tie as tight as I can get it they're popping a little bit more and now we're going to trim it off grabby in my deco mesh in there. So this is just more or less a plain um, deco mesh bow. And y'all, I just think these are so pretty on a mailbox. I just love them. So here's the bow. I'm going to lift you up so you can see how the tails look. It's going to tilt you up just like that. So now these tails, I like that they kind of take on the form of the um, roll so it kind of gives its own natural um, curl to it and just like any anyone um, you know any other bow you kind of just want to twist it forward a little bit now you can also add these to the bottom um, you know of a wreath you know to the top however you choose but I do like to try to get that curl going back again, just like that. And of course, if they're too long for you, then you can definitely um, trim them off. And I usually put it toward my project first and then determine if I need to trim it off. Sometimes I already know, you know. But so this is sort of, this is how it looks. And y'all, if you make them in white, these are so pretty at weddings. They look nice at weddings. Um, you know, you don't have to just use white if the bride wants to color coordinate. Um, but I think these are so pretty at weddings. They just add that kind of like light and airiness to it. But anyway, this is my plain uh, six inch wide uh, deco mesh uh, bow. So again, you can kind of add, if you want to start adding some things in it, just to embellish it a little bit, you can add in uh, a sunflower, uh, some greenery, whatever you choose to do. You can also take uh, some ribbon and make an additional little layer but I'm going to show you this next on how you can layer your deco mesh um, bows on my next um, video 
So we'll save that for later and we will call that a finished bow. And again, these are so pretty on the mailbox, especially when you embellish them with just a little bit of something, something. Um, you know, it's not super overdone and these tie nicely on your mailboxes, even in your house to make it kind of bright or on a wreath or on a grapevine. If you're working on a project and you just want something super, you know, cute just to kind of go to the side, you know, of it, you know, like it even, this could be done for Easter, it's yellow, although I'm doing mine for fall. That's kind of an egg, egg shaped one, but they look really, I just really like them. And this is just another bow. And again, you can use the two and a half inch, um, um, deco mesh to make a bow as well, which we will be doing one of those, but you can graduate on up. I 21 inch is way, way too big. I wouldn't go any further than 10 inches, but you certainly can go from a 2.5 inch um, deco mesh roll of, of ribbon up to five, six, and 10. And then some rolls coming in 11, it's just odd numbers. But I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial uh, for um, Bow Sunday and um, I hope that you uh, try out using these and see how they work for your for your house I love them I think they're bright and sunshiny and you can add them to door hangers and so many things y'all so if you like this um, give me a thumbs up uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of uh, bow making tutorials. And if you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel, you can do that now and tap that red bell, which notifies you when I upload my next tutorial. So for tonight, I want to say thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.